Hello and welcome in shooters. Much love to the hoopers. Enjoy our hoops movement three-point mix. Stick around to the end. Got some tips to seriously improve your three-point shooting. See you at the end. All right, shooters. So if you want to improve your shooting, be able to shoot like this. Shoot from far. Play in Europe. Play in college. Maybe play in the pros. Shoot from real far easily with extra arc, extra range. Shoot off the catch, shoot off the dribble, shoot off the and one, shoot with the left hand, shoot with the right hand, shoot in one on one with defenders on you. What you need that no one has told you that you need is an understanding of the physics of how the ball needs to move to get into the hoop. There's so many coaches that teach shooting without understanding the physics. You can't listen to any of them, honestly. It's how can you teach if you don't understand the physical laws of gravity and rotation and the truth of it and what the actual functional physical terms are and the reality, how can anyone teach basketball, right? Most coaches are just stuck in the past spouting clichés, acronyms, catchphrases that sound good, but if you actually understand the science, this shit is easy. So, for those of you who really want to take your game or teach others to take their game to the next level, you will benefit so much from the Scientific Shooting Secrets ebook series that we have. The physics book is going to be so useful and the training book will cut your time by a quarter or cu cut your time by three quarters to a quarter or more, right? We've got so many kids right now practicing the wrong shot over and over and over again being taught by someone who doesn't understand the science, doesn't understand the physics. It's fucked up, really. It's, it's, <laughs> it's sad. So if you want to cut through all the bullshit, skip to the finish, skip to the future, check out the physics book. Check out the training manual. It is should be really a prerequisite for shooters. Should really be a prerequisite for coaches. It's an essential thing because again, if you don't understand the physics of how the ball has to move, how can you possibly teach it? How can you possibly learn it? You can't. So, get it, and I'll see you on the inside. This video is about the future of jump shooting, where jump shooting might be in a hundred years, so you can be there, you can kind of skip some of the stuff that doesn't work and anticipate where it's going. Because if we think about where jump shooting was a hundred years ago, it was shit. Do you think we're at the final form today? Clearly not. In a hundred years, we're going to look back today as a lot of the shooters being shit. So how is it going to be different in the future compared to today? And I want to thank Pete Dunn, one of you guys, for messaging me and sparking this idea, this conversation about how jump shooting is going to be different. And really the question is, okay, so say that rotational jump shooting adds power to your shot. It adds arc, it adds range. Rotational being moving your shoulder and your hip to the basket, right? Like, you know, shooting like that as opposed to being totally squared or totally tilted. If that is effective and adds range, then why do the main coaches not teach it? Well, first of all, there's a lag time, right? Coaches are generally teaching what they learned 20 years ago or 10 years ago, right? Even if it's happening right now. The rotational jump shot popular with Steph Curry, Kyle Korver, J.J. Redick, it's already happening. Some cutting-edge coaches, b-ball breakdown, started to point that out last year, that rotation is happening. So you just can't trust most coaches because they're stuck in the past, and you don't even want to be in the present. You want to be looking into the future, right? Steph Curry's a guy who's in the future. He is where shooting is going to go, and if we look at really where it's going to be, here's the fundamental shift we're going to see happen. Right now, people are very mechanics-oriented. Like, what is the mechanics of Steph Curry? How can we copy his mechanics? Because he's the best shooter. However, if we don't fully understand why Steph shoots the way he shoots, then we are not going to be able to fully mimic him or even surpass him, because eventually people will surpass him. He's not going to be the best shooter ever. And the way that we do it is shift to thinking about how the ball needs to move against gravity in order to have the most arc, the most range, and the most accuracy. Just base their mechanics around what works on that, right? That's the number one way that people it's going to change. So people are going to be real physics oriented, and we're going to see that there's going to be more rotation in shots. There's going to be people are going to take bigger dips for more power 
and people are going to be shooting more accurately from further with more arc. Right? There's going to be 50% three-point shooters who shoot from far. We're going to see that. And they're going to really understand the physics of how it works. And that's number one. Number two, a lot of shooters are going to get a better idea of the most efficient ways to practice. Right now, a lot of people just think that if they put in tons of work, that's plenty. But it's not about work, but efficiency of work. So in the future, people are really going to be studying the science of how learning happens and the fastest way to learn and st things like, yeah, basically just how the brain works. So it's going to get more scientific just because it has to. And the future is this stuff's going to be become more simpler. So if you want to move into the future, if you want to understand the physics and you want to understand the fastest way to learn, you should check out our program, ebooks, efficient shooting. Part one is on the physics and part two is on the training. If you want to be in the future jump shooting, you should definitely check it out. If you want to be stuck in the past uh, and not in the future and putting in more time and not having the arc range and accuracy you want, then you shouldn't check it out. So this is for those of you who want to learn. For those of you who are looking at it and are like, I don't know how fun this is going to be. This is not a, necessarily a fun product. It's like a textbook and a it's like two, one textbook and one mini textbook, but again, if you put in the time and effort, it will definitely, definitely be worth it, and you will be on the cutting edge of where things are going, so look forward to seeing you on the inside of that, so take care.